everyone and welcome here. My name is Heather aka Hey Hey Crochet and in today's video I am going to be setting up my dream crochet work from home area office. Yeah and I'm very excited. I have so many ideas for it. So many things I want to crochet for it. Might give you some ideas of things you want to do for your own room or office or desk area or whatever. But yeah, I'm very excited. And anything that can be linked will be linked below in the description. So if you see something you like, you can check it out down there. The first thing that needs to be done is that I need to clean the monstrosity that is this bedroom. All right, let's just get started. big portion of this room cleaned up and now I have enough room to set up my new desk and I want to say a huge thank you to Costway for sending me one of their stand-up desks. I am so excited to see it and unbox it so let's do that. finished putting it together and by we I mean my husband because this thing is a beast it is so heavy duty and such good quality but it was way too heavy for me to put together I took everything out of the packaging and then let my husband do the rest I helped him with some things but for the most part he did everything but it is amazing it is so just i love how wide it is i love how sturdy it feels i don't feel like it's gonna wobble or tobble and the coolest thing let me show you is that it has a preset so i set i think i set two to my standing height and i'm going to set one for my sitting height it's going to be a perfect height for me to stand and type and everything i'm so excited thank you so much to costway for sending me this table i will have it linked down below plus a discount code for you guys so make sure to check that out Hello, I think our first crochet project for this office space is creating a cover for this ugly chair. My brother left it behind and I don't like it. So we're gonna make it cute. What I have here is like a hundred and something crochet squares. They were going to be a pair of pants. I didn't like that idea anymore. Then it was going to be a blanket and I wasn't feeling it. So now I was looking at them and I was like, I can make them a cute little cover for this chair. I don't know how it's going to go, but I don't think it's such a bad idea. We're just gonna like make a cover. Hopefully it'll be cute. We shall see. Let's start. I hope I have enough squares to do this. Surely I will. Literally, this took me so long. Excuse me, because I know I look crusty busty, but since I woke up, I spent all morning trying to finish sewing these together. So right after this, I'm gonna go shower. <laughs> but anyway, this is how it came out. And this is the construction. There are 64 granny squares plus one granny triangle. 
and how it is going to be uh, going on is like this and i will be sewing the back together and since it got wider i put in this triangle and then made it wider so it will connect it looks like it's not going to but it will it's a little snug but that's okay so i'm just going to seam this down and put four granny squares across the top and after we put that on we're going to put on the seat cover part this is 31 granny squares and there's this little part right here because this is where the handles are so i'll give a closer look this is what it looks like and this part right here is going to be seamed together this is for the most part just going to lay here i might connect it with some chains or something right under here but for the most part that is what the chair is going to look like. That's it. And I think that's a total of like 94, 96 squares. So I used up almost all the squares that I had. And that is so exciting. Oh, it's going to be 94, 96 when I have the top part here. So next, I'm just going to seam these together and I'll show you what that looks like when I'm done. It is done. Let's try her on together. I cannot believe it's done this was so time consuming besides a blanket i've never made a project this big here is what the back looks like so you can still see some of the black here but that's not really an issue it's fine it doesn't really bother me all that much I'm so happy with it. I think I might make some covers for the armrests. Just gonna make like some ovals and like put it over it. Yeah, the main part is done. I can't, I'm, I'm, I'm shook. I can't believe it's finally done. Okay, I finished it. I just increased as much as I needed for to cover the top part and then I just did double crochet rounds with no increases until it was long enough to cover and then did a row of single crochet to make it a bit more snug around this part. It's done for the most part. Okay, I have done some rearranging. I moved that to that corner from that corner. And then this, for those who are wondering, this is full of books and toys for when my nieces come over. And then move that there from there. And then I'm thinking about putting this over on this corner and then this mannequin I put together wearing my howl jacket. I think I'll put on the other side of that. We'll see, it's coming along.
before I set up my computer, I think I'm going to decorate this wall. Let's just get into that. And this is what we have so far. I don't know what I think of it, but I'm gonna stop for now and sleep on it and look at it again in the morning. Okay, the next part that I'm crocheting for this office space is a little placemat to put my keyboard on. I've already started, but I'll link a tutorial down below on how to do it. And then I just roughly made it the width I need for this part right here. And then I'm just going to make it longer and then I'm going to add a scalloped detailing around it. So yeah, it's pretty simple. I'll have a link to how to do the tulip stitch down below. And you can make, if you want to make one like this, you can make it any size you want for whatever you need it for. Okay, it is done. I added a row of single crochet in green and then did the scallop stitch in white and then just added another row of single crochet around in pink. And this is the final result. I just finished crocheting this monitor cover. I didn't film any of the process. And that's it. That is it for this video. I am so, so glad to finally have this room done. This room and this video have been almost two months in the making. So I am so thankful and grateful to finally have it done. That I can just check that off my list. Thank you so much to Costway for sending me this desk. I will have it linked down below. And thank you so much to you for watching this video. I hope you have a wonderful, amazing, great rest of your day. Bye.